Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to this channel. This is day 279 of posting a chess puzzle every day of, for a year. And this one's going to be white to move. So black just played bishop takes e1. It is white to move. Please pause the video now. Comment down below what you think the variation should be for white to win. The engine evaluates this position as mate in 13. So the first move is going to be pretty obvious. We're going to have to take on f7 with check. Knight takes f7 is ineffective. Uh, Black would probably just play queen e7 and block check with queen um, e6 check with queen queen e6. But I guess white can play um, knight h6 check, king h8, and repeat and get a draw. But we're not looking for a draw. We're going to try to win. King h8. And now the second move is also pretty obvious. We're going to play e6, revealing an attack on g7, threatening mate with queen takes g7 checkmate. Rook g8, black is just going to defend. And now we have a couple of options that are pretty promising. Queen f5 and queen h5 both deliver um, undefendable threats against h7. Um, black can't play g6 since the bishop on b2 is pinning the pawn. And there's no other way of defending um, the h7 square. For example, h6, we're just going to play queen h7, checkmate, or even knight f7. So black's only move is going to be to play queen takes g5. Now, you might write this off and be like, oh yeah, white's totally winning now. But after d takes e6, we have to count the material. Black has two rooks, three minor pieces for a rook, bishop, and knight. Now, um, material-wise, we are supposed to be up one point since we have um, three pieces, three minor pieces, which equal uh, a queen, and then two rooks against a rook and two bishops. So that means uh, white is up one point currently based on the major the minor and uh, major pieces, but we have to count the pawns as well. And um, black has two extra pawns, so that means black is actually up one material point. But obviously, um, white has more activity with bishop and queen attacking g7. Um, so white is going to be slightly better in this position, but it is not clear how to um, win the game. So instead, we're not going to play queen f5 or queen h5. We want to prevent the black queen from taking on g5 when we play queen f5. Um, sorry, I revealed the answer. So the answer is going to be e7 because if the knight takes on e7, we're going to be able to play queen h5 without the queen being able to stop us. Um, for example, like this, queen h5 attacks the pawn on h7. There's no way of um, preventing it. Black can throw in something like bishop takes f7 check. We can play like king f1. And then the pawn on h7 is under attack. Black can try to play h6. We're going to exploit the pin. Um, on this pawn on g7 and queen takes h6 is checkmate. And if queen takes e7, um, we can exploit exploit how the king is basically trapped, um, smothered by its own pieces, and we just take on e7. The point being that after knight takes e7, knight f7 is checkmate. So thank you for watching. Hope to see you in day 270, 280. Have a wonderful day and see you in the next one.